University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. We've already seen Peterhouse Cambridge take the first of the four places in the semi-finals, and whichever team wins tonight will join them. They both have one quarter-final win behind them. Whichever team loses will return for one last chance to qualify. Now, the team from Imperial College London have had an impressive run so far with wins against Reading University, Sydney Sussex College Cambridge and Nuffield College Oxford, giving them an accumulated score of 780. Let's meet them again. Good evening. My name's Ben Fernando. I'm from Birmingham and I'm studying physics. Hi, I'm Ash from Browder. I'm from North London and I'm also studying physics. Well, this is their captain. Hello, I'm James Beezer. I'm from Manchester and I study physics as well. Hello, I'm Ono Tamil. I'm from North London and I'm working towards a PhD in mathematical statistics. Now, the team from Liverpool University also have an unblemished record and got here by beating St Peter's College Oxford in round one, Southampton University in round two and the University of Newcastle in their first quarterfinal match. Those three victories have given them an accumulated score of 585 points. Let's meet the Liverpool team again. Hi, I'm Jenny McLaughlin. I'm from Leeds and I'm studying biological and medical sciences. Hi, I'm Jack Bennett. I'm from Lancaster and I'm studying law. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Robin Wainwright. I'm from the Wirral and I'm studying biological sciences. Hi, I'm Ed Bretherson. I'm from Bampton in Devon and I'm studying medicine. Right, it's too late in the contest to recite the rules again, so fingers on the buzzers, here's your first starter for ten. Which English cathedral is this? Owning one of the four extant copies of the Magna Carta, it's built on a limestone... Imperial Beezer. Lincoln. Correct. <laughs> right, the first set of bonuses, Imperial, are on an ancient city. Firstly, for five points, the modern Turkish port of Bodrum is built on the ruins of which ancient city generally regarded as the birthplace of the historian Herodotus? Halicarnassus. Correct. Built on the orders of Queen Artemisia in the 4th century BCE, the ruins of which of the seven wonders of the ancient world are located at Halicarnassus? Mausoleum. The, mausoleum. the mausoleum. Correct. The tomb of Mausolus. And finally, Dionysius of Halicarnassus is noted for a history of Rome from its origins to the start of its wars with which Mediterranean power from 264 BCE? Carthage. Carthage. Yeah. Carthage. Correct. <laughs> Fingers on the buzzers, ten points for this. Early in 2015, a statement made in 1986 by the author Roald Dahl circulated widely on the internet. Referring to the death of his daughter 24 years earlier, it exhorts parents to have their children... Ah. Liverpool Bennett. Vaccinated. I'm afraid you lose five points. To have their children immunised against which disease? Imperial Tamer. Meningitis? No, it's measles. Ten points for the starter question. Listen carefully. The international temperature scale adopted in 1990 includes among its fixed points a temperature of 234.3 Kelvin, defined by the triple point of what metallic... Imperial Beezer. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, hi hydrogen? No. I'm afraid... You're going to lose five points. Of what metallic element at one standard atmosphere? If a Paul Wainwright. Mercury. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses, Liverpool, are on the films of Christian Bale. In each case, name the film from the description. Firstly, a 1987 film based on a semi-autobiographical work by J.G. Ballard. Bale plays Jim, an English boy attempting to survive the Japanese occupation of Shanghai. Empire of the Sun. Correct. Secondly, a 1996 film adaptation of a novel by Joseph Conrad with Bale in the role of Stevie, the brother-in-law of the title character Verloc, played by Bob Hoskins. No, we don't know. That's The Secret Agent. And finally, a 2006 film based on a novel by Christopher Priest. Bale plays Alfred Borden, a 19th century stage magician. The Prestige. Correct. Ten points for this. Which year saw the publication of The Great Gatsby, the signing of the treaties of Locarno? Liverpool Bennett. 1925. Correct. <laughs> that gives you the lead. You get a set of bonuses on game theory. 
Firstly, regarded as the founder of modern game theory, which Hungarian US mathematician wrote the 1944 book The Theory of Games and Economic Behavior with Oscar Morgenstern? Paul Eros. No, it was John von Neumann. Secondly, what name is given to a game in which the total of the positive payoffs of all the participating players is equal to the total of the negative payoffs? Equal benefit. No, that's a zero-sum game. And finally, after a US mathematician, what name is given to a collection of strategies in game theory such as that no one player can increase their payoff if only that player changes their strategy? John Nash. Uh, specifically? John Forbes Nash. It's the name of the strategy is what oh. I'm looking for. The Nash strategy? <laughs> I'm afraid that won't do. It's the Nash equilibrium or equilibrium generally. Right, ten points for this. Listen carefully. Your answer is a three-word term. Atira, Aten, Apollo and Amor are all groups of astronomical bodies known by the abbreviation NEA. So what are the letters? Imperial Beza. Near Earth asteroids. Correct. <laughs> Right, these bonuses are on Asian countries. In addition to China, the formal name of which Asian country begins with the words People's Republic? It became independent in 1971. Um, Come on. Um, Mongolia? Uh, no, that's not true. Oh, that's... Mongolia. No, it's Bangladesh. Secondly, what is the only Asian country to describe itself as a socialist republic? Its flag is a yellow star on a red background. It's Vietnam. 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 Correct. The formal name of which South Asian country begins with the words Democratic Socialist Republic? North it became Korea. independent in 1948. Yeah, no, it's true. Democratic Socialist no, Republic South Asian. It is, it is. Sri, Lanka. Sri Lanka. Correct. Right, we're going to take a picture around. Your picture staff, you're going to see the flag of a breakaway state which, although exercising de facto independence, is not officially recognised by any UN member state. Ten points if you can identify it. Imperial Fernando. South Ossetia. Nope. Anyone like to buzz from Liverpool? Liverpool Bretherton. Is it Chechnya? No, it's Transnistria. So picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points for this. Fenella in Daniel Aubert's La Mouette de Portici. Strephon in Michael Tippett's The Midsummer Marriage and Tadzio in Benjamin Britten's Death in Venice all share what distinctive and unusual attribute among named characters in classical opera? Imperial Biza. Um, do they all not actually appear in the thing? Nope. Liverpool McLaughlin. Women with men's names? No, they are non-singing or non-speaking roles. Right, ten points for this. Quote, The Americans of all nations at any time upon the earth have probably the fullest poetical nature. The United States themselves are essentially the greatest poem. Which poet wrote those words in the preface to his 1855 collection, Leaves of Grass? Liverpool Bennett. Walt Whitman. Yes. <laughs> so, Liverpool, you lucky people, you get the picture bonuses. Three more flags of breakaway states with limited international recognition, all from within the territory of the former Soviet Union and all having declared independence since its dissolution. Five points for each you can name. Firstly... Abkhazia. It is Abkhazia. Secondly... Oh, I recognise that. Nice Nagorno-Karabakh. Nagorno Nominate Bennett. Nagorno-Karabakh. Correct. And finally... South Ossetia. Well done, yes. Right, to start a question, of the four fundamental forces, which three play a significant role in binding matter together? Imperial Fernando. Um, gravity, the electromagnetic force and the strong nuclear force. Correct. 
Your bonuses are on scientists, both real and fictional imperial. In the television series The Big Bang Theory, the theoretical physicist Sheldon Lee Cooper researches string theory. He shares both his given and middle name with which US particle physicist who's a noted opponent of the theory? Go on. Sheldon Glashow. Correct, yes. Secondly, what surname is shared by a character in The Big Bang Theory with the US academic whose work entitled Girdle, Escher and Bach won the Pulitzer Prize in 1979? Hofstadter. Correct. Playing a neuroscientist, which member of the cast of The Big Bang Theory earned a doctorate in 2007 with a dissertation on hypothalamic activity in patients with Prader-Willi syndrome? It is pronounced that way, isn't it? Just like... Mayim Bialik. Mayim um... Bialik is correct. <laughs> Obviously compulsory viewing in your house, isn't it? Right, ten points for this. Which architect and scholar of the Egyptian Third Dynasty is usually credited with designing the Step Pyramid of Djoser at Saqqara? The same name was used for Boris Kolos' ah, character... Liverpool Bennett. Imhotep. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on European history, Liverpool. In the War of the League of Cambrai from 1508, which Italian state faced an alliance that included the Pope and the rulers of France, Aragon and the Holy Roman Empire? Venice. Correct. In 1718, attempting to alter the terms of the Treaty of Utrecht, which country opposed the quadruple alliance of Austria, Britain, the Dutch Republic and France? Spain. Correct. Gives you the lead. Wishing to increase its share of the spoils from a previous conflict, which country attacked its former allies, including Serbia and Greece, in the Second Balkan War of 1913? Bulgaria. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> what adjective links in literature a school of British poets that included Philip James Bailey and Sidney Dobell in pathology, an entity characterised by twitches or convulsions, and in general use, anything that occurs irregularly or intermittently. Imperial Browder. Tick. No, I'm afraid that is just an interruption. You lose five points, Liverpool. It's spasmodic. Ten points for this. Born around AD 360, Saint Mestrop Mashtot is traditionally credited with devising the alphabet still in use of which Indo-European language? The language in question has around six million speakers, primarily in Western Asia. Imperial Tamil. Armenian. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses, which could re-give you the lead, are on poets born in Yorkshire in different centuries. In each case, identify the poet from their lines. Firstly, from the 17th century. How vainly men themselves amaze to win the palm, the oak, or bays. No, that's 16th century, isn't it? 17th century. So, um, shall I just guess a poet? Um... John Donne. No, it's Andrew Marvell. Secondly, from the 19th century, no coward soul is mine, no trembler in the world's storm-troubled sphere. I see heaven's glory shine, and faith shines equal, arming me from fear. 19th century. It's too powerful. Is this just another guess a poet? Um... Uh, uh, no. Tennyson. No, that's Emily Bronte. And from the 20th century, it took the whole of creation to produce my foot, my each feather. Now I hold creation in my foot. Philip Larkin? No, it's Ted Hughes. Ten points for this. In medicine, what term denotes the administration of electric shocks to the chest in order to reset normal heart... Imperial visa. Cardioversion. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. In order to reset normal heart rhythm in a person who's... Experienced... Liverpool Wainwright. Defibrillation. Defibrillation is correct. <laughs> Your bonus is Liverpool are on physics. In an unconventional energy grid, power is transmitted by pumping a fluid along pipelines and using its kinetic energy to do work at the point of use, neglecting viscosity and other losses. By what factor does the transmitted power increase if you double the speed of fluid flow? Four. No, it's eight. Secondly, another unconventional grid connects homes using heavy ropes and the energy is transmitted by shaking the ropes to send transverse waves travelling along them. What factor increase in power would be gained by doubling both the amplitude and frequency of the waves, all other things being equal? 
It's gonna be a of Three, 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 four. Four. It's 16. Mm -hmm. And finally, a grid transmits energy by shooting marbles down an evacuated tube. What factor increase in power would result from doubling the radius of the marbles? Again, all other things being equal. That's going to be a decrease. Mm. That's going to be something pi. 12. 12. No, it's 8. <laughs> Time for a music round. For your music starter, you're going to hear a piece of classical music. For 10 points, simply identify its English composer. Liverpool Wainwright. Purcell. It is Henry Purcell. Well done. <laughs> that was an allemande, the first of the four chord dances of the Baroque Suite. For your bonuses, you'll hear excerpts from three more dances that, with the allemande, comprise such a suite. Each is from a different work. I want the composer's name in each case. Here, then, a courant by which French composer? Um, Sarti. No, that's by Rameau. And next, a Sarabande by which composer? Handel. It is Handel, yes. <laughs> and finally, a Gigue by which German composer? Bach. It is by Bach, yes. Well done, Sebastian. Ten points for this. The birthplace of Hans Christian Andersen. What is the third largest city by... Imperial Browder. Odense. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses, Imperial, are on US history. Enacted by the 18th Amendment to the Constitution and repealed by the 21st, what measure was often referred to as the noble experiment? Prohibition. Correct. The Act of Congress that enabled prohibition is often named after which US representative for Minnesota? Denno. It's named after Andrew Volstead. And finally, during Prohibition, cereal beverages with an alcohol content of up to 0.5% were permitted. Such drinks were popularly known by what rhyming designation? Denno. It's near beer. <laughs> right, ten points for this starter question. Answer as soon as your name is called. Which letter of the alphabet is common to the surnames of the first three British Prime Ministers of the 21st century? Imperial Beza. B. Nope. Liverpool Bennett. R. R is correct, yes. <laughs> it's in Blair, Brown and Cameron. Right, Liverpool, these bonuses are on works of economics. In which work of 2014 does the French economist Thomas Piketty state that the main driver of inequality is the tendency of capital to exceed the rate of economic growth? <laughs> Not a clue. It's a very famous book. It's Capital in the 21st Century. The name of which Austrian-born economist appears with that of Keynes in the title of a book by Nicholas Wapshot, subtitled The Clash That Defined Modern Economics? Friedman? No, it's Hayek. With his philosopher son, Edward, which emeritus professor of political economy co-authored the 2012 book, How Much is Enough? Money and the Good Life? We don't know. It's Skidelsky, Robert Skidelsky. Right, ten points for this. What term denotes a point on the celestial sphere with an astronomical altitude of minus 90 degrees? It derives from the Arabic meaning opposite. Imperial Fernando. Zenith. No, I'm afraid you lose five points, meaning opposite in terms of its relation to the zenith. Liverpool Bennett. Nadir. Nadir is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on crystallography, Liverpool. In crystallography, what is the name of the lattice which is given by the Fourier transform of the wave function of the original spatial lattice? We do not know. That's the reciprocal lattice. What two-word hyphenated term is used to describe a spatial lattice whose reciprocal has the same symmetry as the original lattice? 
Mirror lattice. That's a self-dual. What is the reciprocal lattice of a face-centred cubic lattice? No idea. It's body-centred. Right, ten points for this. I think like a genius, I write like a distinguished author, and I speak like a child. These words appear in the 1973 work Strong Opinions by which Russian-born novelist? Liverpool Bennett. Solzhenitsyn. No, anyone like to buzz for Imperial? Imperial Tamer. Nabokov. Nabokov is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on a culinary vegetable, Imperial. Noted for its antibacterial properties, allicin is the yellowish, oily liquid that is the principal flavouring agent of which vegetable used mainly as a seasoning or condiment? Garlic. Correct. The Garlic Ballads is a work by which Chinese novelist, also noted for Frog and Red Sorghum Clan? He won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2012. Mo Yan. Correct. The Portuguese for wine with garlic is thought to be the derivation of the name of which dish, versions of which often feature on the menus of British curry houses? Uh, Vindaloo. 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 Correct. Well done. <laughs> We're going to take another picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see two images. One is a still from a film. The other is a painting by an artist whose works inspired the film's art direction. For ten points, I need both the title of the film and the name of the artist. Liverpool Bennett. The Exorcist Grant Wood. Nope. No, you're not going to tell me. Imperial Beza. The Exorcist and Hopper. No, it's The Exorcist and Renny Magritte. So, picture bonuses shortly. Ten points at stake for this starter question. Listen carefully. Answer as soon as your name is called. Rayleigh scattering causes... Ah. Liverpool Bennett. Uh, blue sky. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Rayleigh scattering causes the blueness of Earth's daytime sky. In this process, scattered intensity is proportional to frequency raised to what power? Imperial Fernando. Four. Four is correct. <laughs> so there's only ten points in it, and you get the picture bonuses. You're going to see stills from films together with the works of artists who inspired their costume and set design. In each case, I need the title both of the film and the name of the artist. Firstly, for five... No, I guess. Is that central? Do you, do we know the artist? If not, we shouldn't waste time on it. Sorry? don't know what period it is. No, so, okay, so Psycho and, um, uh, I don't um, Psycho and Dali. No, it's Psycho and Edward Hopper. Secondly... Um, that was, that's Hegel from the right. Um, so... Yeah, something that's so oh, um, some sort of horror film. Um, uh, is, it, is there something called The Draftsman's Conflict? Um, the Draftsman's Contract and... Uh... No, it's Barry Lyndon and the artist was William Hogarth. Finally... Oh, that's uh, so Freud that's on the right. Freud was not... I can't um, remember which... Oh, is, is it Fritz Lang? Oh, yeah, uh, that looks like it's one of the same. Yeah. And, uh, uh, was it Bruegel? Metropolis? No, it's Bruegel. Um, yeah, Bruegel Fritz, and, um, and Metropolis. Metropolis. Metropolis and Bruegel. Which one? <laughs> Peter Bruegel the Elder. Correct! <laughs> Right, ten points for this. In Greek mythology, which sea nymph was the wife of Peleus and the mother of... Imperial Ibiza. Thetis. Correct. <laughs> you take the lead, and these bonuses are on sudden literary celebrity. Firstly, the 1774 publication of The Sorrows of Young Werther turned which Frankfurt-born lawyer into a major literary figure almost overnight? Goethe. Correct. Which poet wrote that he woke up one morning and found himself famous after the publication of Child Harold's Pilgrimage? Byron. Byron. Yeah. Correct. Which US author achieved sudden fame following the appearance in 1894 of The Red Badge of Courage, published when he was 23 years old? Uh, it's, um... Uh, is it, um... Uh, it wouldn't be too long, I guess. No, but... it's, um... <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's Let's not have it, please. But, um... Uh, is it Frank McCourt? No, it's Stephen Crane. There's just over three minutes to go. Another starter question. What is the largest country that does not lie wholly within the Northern Hemisphere? It is the world's fifth largest country by... Imperial Fernando. Um, Australia. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. The world's fifth largest country by land area. Liverpool Bennett. Brazil. 
Brazil is correct. <laughs> Get these bonuses, you'll retake the lead. There are mammals in Japan, Liverpool. Servus Nippon, also known as the Sika, is a member of a family of grazing animals known by what common name? Deer. Correct. What four-letter word follows Japanese and mountain in the common names of the two species of the genus Lepus found in Japan? They belong to the order Lagomorpha. Hair. Correct. Snow-covered mountains of Japan provide a habitat for the most northerly species of which genus of old-world monkeys? Macaca. Macaca is correct. <laughs> uh, start a question now. Deriving ultimately from the Greek for flesh, what general term is used in medicine for cancers of connective tissue and muscle? Uh, Liverpool Wainwright. Sarcoma. Sarcoma is right. <laughs> Your bonuses are on pairs of years with reordered digits, for example, 1066 and 1660. In each case, give the two years in which the following occurred. Firstly, the battles of Bosworth Field and Balaclava. 1485 and 1854. Correct. Secondly, the execution of Sir Thomas More and the accession of Mary I of England. Come on, please. We don't know. It's 1535 and 1553. And finally, the deposition of James II of England and the defeat of Gladstone's first Irish Home Rule Bill. No, we don't know. It's 1688 and 1886. Ten points for this. Hoping to pay for his emigration to Jamaica, who, in 1786, published his first anthology, poems chiefly in the Scottish dialect. Uh, Liverpool Wainwright. Burns. Robert Burns is right. <laughs> These bonuses are on the Booker Prize. In 1974, the author Elizabeth Jane Howard was a member of the Booker panel that shortlisted Ending Up, a novel by which writer who was also her husband? Dunno. That was Kingsley Amis. In 1992, the prize was awarded jointly to Michael Ondaatje for The English Patient and to which other author for Sacred Hunger? No, we don't know again. That was Barry Unsworth. And finally, which South African writer was the first author to win twice with The Life and Times of Michael Kay in 1983 and Disgrace in 1999? Jim Curtsy. Curtsy. Curtsy? Jim Curtsy is correct. Ten points for this. Uninhabited volcanic and almost entirely covered by glaciers, Bouvet Island is the most... Liverpool Bennett. Norway. Norway is correct. <laughs> These bonuses and at the Golden Imperial College have 130, Liverpool University have 185. Well, bad luck, Imperial. I'm afraid you're going to have to come back and win again. You're certainly quite good enough to be in the semi-finals, so we shall wish you the best of luck next time. Congratulations to you, Liverpool. You take the second place in the semi-finals. Well done. I hope you can join us next time for another quarter-final match, but until then, it's goodbye from Imperial College London. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from Liverpool University. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.